corner door in Revit. Okay. So this is the part three of this tutorial. So before we proceed, I would like to ask everyone that please view part by part and don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. Okay. So first thing I will do is to set this corner and there is some adjustment in the ground floor. Okay. So first thing I will do is to pick this. Okay. DE for the shortcut and use the pick line. Okay. TR for the shortcut. Okay. DE to delete this one and TR again to make sure that all are closed. Okay. And hit finish. Okay. So now I just simply double click again this. Okay. OF for the shortcut and I set this into 6500 okay TR for the shortcut okay delete DE and hit finish delete element okay now I just place a door or wall here, sorry. Okay. And double click it. Unjoin element. Okay, double click this. Okay, double click. Use the pick line. And pick this and also this. Okay. And OF for the shortcut and set it into one meter. Okay. And again, 2100 to the height. Okay. And I just simply pick this and I just drag it all the way in this side. TR for the shortcut to trim it. This. Okay. DE to delete TR. And TR also. Here and delete this. Okay. And hit finish okay so we have one opening in this side okay so I need also here this part because we make the L shape or corner door in this project okay so now what I'm going to do next is to temporarily hide this okay by clicking this and hide element okay so you can see it clearly okay and just counter check into the south okay and go back into 3d or level one okay and don't forget to save okay your project okay so now what I'm going to do next is to draw a wall here okay up to here okay and go to 3d okay delete now this one this is the adjustment or this okay and now double click this okay and use the pick line okay tr for the shortcut and de for the delete okay and of okay i set this into 
1 meter so both side 1 meter 1 meter okay PR and hit finish okay so this is the corner door okay already okay so now I just hide also this okay go in this eyeglass hide element to make it clear okay and now I just change it into wireframe okay now go to architecture component model in place choose the door okay and now I use the swap pick the path okay pick this and pick also this okay and now SL or you can drag it here TR to connect okay and now TL to reduce the thickness of the line so to make it clear and now I just go to create or modify hit finish double click this now I choose the rectangle now okay and I just set this into 100 okay and OF for the shortcut and 50 and 50 here okay so now I just trim it this to there okay and I just simply pick this and drag it this here okay make sure that this is straight TR to close now this one okay and use the arc to give some design outside okay DE okay so this is done already and you can change it the material okay create new rename um, let's say metal paint okay metal appearance tick this and choose whatever you want to put okay so I go to metal and I want this aluminum dark as the color okay and hit finish and hit finish so now go again to create now I choose the extrusion to draw now the door okay tr for the shortcut to trim it okay oops tr and now i change the material again to this okay duplicate Or I choose this metal okay and hit finish and this you can drag it all the way up like this okay and hit 
finish. So if I change into 3D, save, and unhide the element or reset temporary hide element. So this is what he look already. Okay, you have a corner door already. So don't worry about the color for now because once we render it, uh, automatically they're giving a, give uh, changes as per our uh, material that we uh, put. Okay, so now if you want to add some more uh, interesting into your uh, door, okay, you need to make put accessories okay go inside for this one okay and go to insert okay load family i we use the millimeter so you just go to us metric okay us metric find the door okay hardware and choose i just choose this m exterior full open okay go to create okay component and you can place it anywhere okay for now and now change it into wireframe we'll go to level one okay so it's too far okay so you can drag it all the way like this okay so once you pick this and hit the tab okay automatically change the rotation okay so now what we're going to do is to go to align, okay, pick this and pick this one. So automatically go there, okay, and you can drag or push, pull it like this, okay, and give the dimension there, okay, as you want, okay, like this, okay. And now you go to 3D and you, of course, you need to set it for now 950. I think 950 so automatically go there hit finish so now we have uh, already a corner okay corner door in Revit okay so now let's uh, render it so I just go into camera okay And I just simply drag it like that, okay? So we can check it. Our uh, design, okay? So command RR, okay? Printer, I just use my 600 DPI, Skyberry Pew Cloud Adjust. I set this into 6000. Okay, shadow zero. Okay, or in this one is to apply. Okay, and let's render it. Okay, so we have already 75%. So thank you once again to all of you. I hope that you enjoy or you can follow the procedure how to make a L shape or corner door using. Are Revit. Okay, so please don't forget to like, share, or subscribe. This is the one already. Okay. So, see you again in my next video. Thank you and God bless you all.